Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. A very good question and a very good concept from algebra used in uh, multiple ways actually. Okay. So this question here says that uh, x square plus y square plus z square equal to x plus 8y plus 5 or uh, 8y by 5 plus 7z by 5 minus 650 and x, y, z are rational numbers. Then, then basically you need to find the this value. Okay. So the main task here is to solve such kind of equation. Okay. So the moment you see the term of x square and x, the moment you see the term of y square and y and z square and z, you try to put uh, that uh, completion of perfect square, that funda, right? Okay. So you try to make it in the form of perfect square. Okay. So I'll just tell you how it is done. Let's try to segregate the terms of x square and uh, x and y uh, on all sides. Okay. Just try, try to try like this. I'll write like this x square minus x plus y is square minus 8y by 5 plus z is square minus 7z by 5 okay and this is equal to uh, uh, minus 69 by 50 correct now so, uh, how do you complete the perfect squares here guys understand this so when you write here x square minus x so actually it it converts to this kind of form here that will be a is square minus 2ab plus b square okay so it will like a is square minus 2ab plus b square if you try to compare with this so a square and x square that means fine so i'm trying to write in the form of a minus b whole square so for a minus b whole square my a is perfectly here that is a equal to x so i'll write so i'll write x here okay so i'll write x here that's fine now x minus what so i need to find my b here if you observe now 2ab equal to x because a constant term anyhow can be taken care of further okay i can add and subtract any constant term so i need to take care of variables here okay so now 2ab is equal to x so if you observe a equal to x now 2b is equal to 1 so if 2b is equal to 1 that means b will be equal to half can i write a minus b ka whole square as x minus half ka whole square correct so once you open up x minus half ka whole square what will be getting here you will be getting here x square minus x that is 2ab and plus 1 by 4 right? that plus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 will take care so while writing x minus half whole square what i've done i've added 1 by 4 here right? so right side i'll be subtracting minus 1 so right side also i'll be adding 1 by 4 so it is minus 150 1 by 4 added here i'll be adding 1 by 4 here also correct now the second one y square minus 8y by 5 same way guys so y is square minus 8y by y by 5 here so how we're writing here is so y is square minus 8y by 5 hey na? so now you just try to put in this form here a is square minus 2ab plus b square take okay? care now a equal to y and we'll try to write a minus b plus by a minus b whole square here okay so a minus b whole square so now a is equal to y so it is y now 2ab is 8y so obviously a is equal to y so 2b is equal to 8 by 5 so b will be equal to 4 by 5 and uh, that becomes y minus 4 by 5 whole square can i write here y minus 4 by 5 whole square okay so i'll write y minus 4 by 5 whole square now so while putting this what will be what what i'll be getting here is after expanding i'll be getting something like this y is square uh minus 8y by 5 plus 16 by 25 right that, that's a constant term here 16 by 25 so right side left side i have added 16 by 25 so right side also i'll be adding 16 by 25 correct the last term says z square minus 7z by 5 okay now see here z is square minus 7z by 5 uh so z is square minus 7z by 5 again in same form so it's like a minus b whole square okay so a equal to z now so in that case i'll be writing like a square minus 2 ab plus b square so a equal to z so now it is like z now b so 2 uh, if a equal you can see 2 ab is 7z by 5 here so that means 2 b equal to 7 by 5 so if 2 b equal to 7 by 5 that means b equal to 7 by 10 that means it should be z minus 7 by 10 whole square so i should write here z minus 7 by 10 whole square okay so plus z minus 7 by 10 whole square so what is the term what is the term here i have opened up so z is square uh, minus 7z by 5 and and now plus extra is uh, 49 by 100 okay that is b square is 49 by 100 that means right side also you should add 49 by 100 so that's the funda right so that's how it goes guys okay so you can now solve this kind of this question now okay let me erase this part and now 
uh, we are good to solve uh, this question uh, good to go on it yeah so now you can see that we have got three perfect squares here and if i write solve the right side here so what we'll be getting here is so i'll see that now take the lcm as 100 this will be minus 138 this will be plus 25 this will be plus 64 and this will be plus 49 so if you see the question is beautifully designed beautifully designed so that the sum is equal to zero huh. that means sum of three perfect square is zero and i know that all the perfect squares are always greater than or equal to zero and they can never be negative so if all the perfect squares are greater than or equal to zero then sum is equal to zero so that means each number has to be zero that means x minus half whole square is zero that means x will be equal to half and uh, y minus 4 by 5 equal to 0 that means y equal to 4 by 5 and z minus 7 by 10 is 0 that means z equal to 7 by 10 correct so it's a very good question okay so now i need to define this value so i need to find the value of your uh, 16 x cube okay i'll write here 16 x cube plus 125 y is square plus 10 z now this equal to what 16 into x cube what is x cube here x is half so 16 into half cube okay 16 x cube plus 125 y square so 125 into 4 by 5 square and plus uh, 10 z that is 10 into 7 by 10 so once i solve it here this will be this will become 2 this will be 125 uh, this is 25 uh, we'll go 5 times into 16 becomes 80 and this will be 10 and 10 cancelled 7 so what is my answer my answer is 89 okay so that's the funda for this question so very good question guys so i hope you liked it thank you